G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this beautiful sunny day. Oh, we have a little bit of a spicy take today, I tell you what. And my little hot take is involving everybody's favourite and usually one of their first modifications they make to their vehicular motorcycle baby. And that is we're talking exhausts. Specifically... Do loud pipes save lives? And I know everybody's gonna think, well, of course they do. And my controversial hot topic is that I don't think the answer is yes to this question, okay? I actually think that the answer to this is a little bit more convoluted in the sense of there's a limitation to the answer, okay? It's not just a blanket term, yes, so. Loud pipes, I think, do make a difference to your, um, your safety as a motorcyclist, but there is only, it's like to diminishing returns, okay? So a loud bike is great, but in most cases it doesn't make a difference to your safety when riding around, okay? So most people don't seem to understand when you have an exhaust on a bike, even if it's straight piped, the sound is coming out the back of the motorcycle, not forward. So most of the sound is protruding backwards, okay? Yes, if it points at the ground, it lou it's louder and whatnot, but still the point being is it's not as loud as it could possibly be. But, there are instances where a loud exhaust makes a difference, and I personally have, uh, have seen a difference, and this is exactly where the difference would be, and I only say that because it's quite literally that's what I mean. <clears throat> In most cases when you're riding around the town, a loud pipe does not really make a difference. You only, especially being in a car and you can hear all these loud bikes, you don't really hear them until they're close to you, dude. So a loud pipe does not save you from being like pulled out in front of half the time, etc, etc. Believe you me, otherwise there wouldn't be so many videos of such things happening. But when you're lane filtering in a slow environment that everyone's going slow and you're lane filtering at an acceptable speed, I'm not talking lane splitting when you're speeding through the middle of the cars, I'm talking your healthy 30 k's in the middle of a bunch of cars, okay? Then, and honestly really only then, and only like 10% of the other like incidences, does your loud exhaust make a difference to your safety? Because in most cases, people just don't hear you, or they just don't pay attention. So the loud pipe, at the end of the day, is really, ugh, it's for your own personal satisfaction, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference to the safety of said riding. So, if I had done that beforehand, you're not really going to hear that when you're in a car. You're just going to be like, oh, god damn, a bike's gone past. And then that's pretty much it. Riding safely is definitely one of the biggest factors you can say for um, preservation on a motorbike as opposed to loud pipes. Let's be honest, loud pipes save lives. Yes, there's truth to the statement. There is not as much truth as we all like to admit. We all go, no, 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 need to, need to happen, need to happen. And let's be honest, most bikes don't need to be as loud as they are. Honestly, I'm quite uh, sort of conflicted when it comes to exhaust noise. Like, I like a loud exhaust, but I can't ride with a loud exhaust for a prolonged period of time. It gets, it gets irritating, okay? If I have to wear earplugs when I'm riding, it's too much. <laughs> but when I get my next bike, I might have to, because a lot of the exhaust just don't sound good unless it's a full system on that one. But the point being is, I've had two instances in life where I've heard two bikes that were ear-splittingly loud. One was a Harley, because of course it was. And the other was a little uh, 250 straight pipe machine that just pierced my eardrums. That, oh, it was disgusting. But the point being is, man, you think that made it any safer? No, if anything, it just pissed me off more. And uh, I can imagine it would annoy a lot of drivers more. It's like when you go to a bike meet and you have the one straight pipe, the one just rev-bombing the whole time. Like, it's just annoying, man. So... Let me know down below what you guys and girls think about the loud pipe saved lives. Obviously, I'd like to hear if you've had an instance when it has saved your skin. But I'd say in most cases, you're probably not going to be benefiting as much as one would say, or as much as the motorbike boys on YouTube will love you to believe, because let's be honest, it's just not realistic that most cars pay attention to your loud noises. Because if that was the sentence, we would have no accidents, because uh, let's be honest, how many motorbikes on the road are rocking their straight like stock exhausts full cat full euro 4 and 5 compliant things because i sure as hell ain't now i still got a cat in my bike but it's a slip-on exhaust and that's loud enough for me because believe you me it has definitely made people realize you're there 
in slow moving traffic slash lanes filtering environments. Now, if I'm going down the road at 80 k's here or 40, 50 miles an hour, whatever the hell it would be in your country, and a car's gone go pull out of a side street, you'd think that the exhaust volume is going to make a difference to my safety? Absolutely not. If you all have a straight piped Harley and you're going down the road, you might hear it from a kilometre away, but the point being is if a car's going to turn out in front of you, man, it's going to turn out in front of you. The only thing you've really achieved is you've made the police look at you a little closer and uh, everyone else thinks you're an ass because your, your bike is too loud. Now don't get it twisted. I do like a nice exhaust. I just think there is limitations to when an exhaust is tasteful and when you're just an ass. Alright? It's pretty simple stuff, okay? Okay, it's not too, not too complicated, but uh, I'm just saying. There are nicer ways and different ways to be seen on the road without appearing like an ass to everyone else. But bikes just can't be seen sometimes. Now you could be having a fluoro yellow motorbike. You could be wearing the full fluoro outfit, high vis everything. You could have the high vis helmet for crying out loud. And you'll still be hit. There was a video on YouTube of this exact situation, and the, the lady's like, I couldn't see the guy, and the cop stared at the biker in his bloody fluorescent banana outfit, and the guy was like, really? You didn't see him? So, remember, inattentive blindness is a thing, and I'll probably make a video on this as well, because inattentive blindness is quite an important thing as a biker to understand. And what is inattentive blindness? It is the fact that I've seen you, but I haven't registered that you're there, so I'm still going to turn out in front of you and probably kill you. So, unfortunately... What can I say? It's just unluggy. Oh, I love the sound of my lovely, you know, slip-on. But see, uh, I like a tasteful exhaust, but also, man, straight pipe bikes are just obnoxiously loud. And, uh... Oh, they're fun for a bit, but oh, I've, I've ridden with a few blokes with straight pipe things, and that's just like... Even the SC Project exhaust for the R7 is obnoxious, man. But I think that is, like, the limitations for some things. Is, oh, they, that, that's they loud, those SC Project exhausts. Like, uncomfortably loud, point blank. <laughs> but lo and behold, you're your own person. Don't you take the opinion of some old internet bloke here, because, oh, eardrum ouchie. <laughs> There are definitely times and a place. Now look, if you have an RSV4 or a Ducati and you have a loud exhaust, sure. You might be obnoxious, but at least it's a nice bike with a nice, you know, engine. Now if you have like a CBR250 or some stupid little thing, I'm not talking about the MC19s, because at least they sound sort of nice. I'm talking about the little twin parallel things. I'm talking your Ninja 400, your Ninja 650, your R3, your CBR500 slash Honda Rebel and you have a sh you know open header bloody straight pipe thing you should absolutely just just shut up mate don't do it <laughs> there's limits and there's uh some certain bikes shouldn't have such exhaust and those are definitely one of them but lo and behold that is everything I wanted to get off my chest for the day so let me know down below about your opinions on the matter but uh do share with me your opinions and thoughts take it easy keep it cheesy and as always, have a nice day. Get out in the sunshine, go for a ride, and peace. Bye.